Um, and I just want to thank our leaders for doing that. They just got drilled with lots and lots of questions and quick answers. And I hope that some of that really helped you and just answered some of your questions. And if there's any area that you need some more help on that we just talked about, just let us know. We'll be all glad to talk to you some more after training. Or we'll usually go out to eat, so maybe you want to do that. <clears throat> My um, little training here I called Believers Are Achievers. And I want you, my goal for this little talk is for you just to believe in yourself. Okay, that's what this is about. Because what I found um, is a lot of ladies come into Premier and they are afraid and they don't have confidence in their ability to be successful in this business. And so um, I'm just going to talk to you a minute about that. To achieve your dreams and reach your goals, you must believe in yourself. Find me an extremely successful person who doesn't believe in themselves. Nobody could find one. It's not possible. Steve Jobs, Martin Luther King Jr., Michael Jordan, Colonel Sanders, Mark Cuban are just a few successful people who benefited greatly from confidence in themselves. It is not their level of success I want to talk about, but it's their willingness to get up again and again. When they failed or experienced a setback while in pursuit of their dreams, they were only able to keep going because of the level of belief in themselves. Belief creates vision. And you need a vision so big that you don't care how many times you fall down at something. Okay? You need a vision so big that you do not care how many times you fall down because your vision is so much bigger than that fall. Okay? Um, I just climbed the Dunn's River Falls in Jamaica. Yes, ma'am. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. We did. <laughs> Has anybody ever climbed anything? You climbed something? Yeah. Uh, even the little rock climbing thing for the kids at the park. Is any of it ever straight up and simple? No. Not even the, the monkey bars and stuff. And so I'm climbing Dunn's River Falls, and I'm going to tell you, I took some giant steps. Me and Sunshine laughed about it. Like my leg went like this. It was like this. <laughs> and I was having to hold on to Jacob. And I was saying, you're going to have to pull me up because I got my leg up here and I can't move. And then there was some times that I had to step down and I couldn't see anything in the bottom of the water. And I don't know if you know that I have a bad ankle and it was making me really nervous. But you know that I actually jammed my ankle on a rock and it hurt. And I, and I kept doing the rest hurt. But I would step down and I would just be so afraid because I did not know what was under there. And there was fear. There was a little bit of fear. Not crazy fear, like I thought I was going to die. But just, there was some fear in the unknown. And there was discomfort. And I had to stretch. And I had to rely on somebody else. And what is so important about that is because when you have a belief and you have a vision and you're working, you're going to have to get uncomfortable. And sometimes you're going to be afraid. And sometimes you're going to have to stretch beyond what you thought you could do. And do you know what happens right there? That is where Christ comes in. Did you know that? Did you know that when you feel like, I am too afraid, that the Lord will give you the courage that you need to do it? I know that because I've experienced it. Proverbs 3.26 says, For the Lord will be your confidence. And will keep your foot from being caught. And Ephesians 6 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Not in you, but in the Lord. That's important. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because nothing is too big for God. Did you know that if your dream seems achievable, it is not big enough? Because God's mind, his thoughts, his ways, his desires for us are bigger and greater than what we can possibly even imagine. So you need to dream really big. Okay, as a business owner and an entrepreneur, you're going to experience setbacks at some point. Some of you may already have. If not, it's going to happen. And your belief has to be strong because when it is, there's no failure or setback that will have the power to completely wipe you out. Maria talked about not quitting. That's what that means. It means that there's going to be a setback. I have been a jeweler for 13 years, and or started my 13th year in March. I haven't been able to figure that out. I think I started my 13th year in March, but anyway, <laughs> I'm 13 years old anyway, and <laughs> I have had some setbacks. I have had some hard times, 
But did you know that if you ask me the one thing that it took to be successful in premiere, I would tell you just don't stop, just keep going, mm -hmm. just don't quit. It, that's the only way to not be successful in this. Um, and I've seen it be true for other people, it's not just me. Belief in yourself in premiere and your why is key to success. I'm going to give you some tips for increasing your belief and shattering self-imposed limitations. I want you to think about that. Self-imposed limitations. That is things that you decide you can't do. Mm -hmm. That you think to yourself, oh, that looks too hard. I'm not comfortable doing that. I don't know about that. I'm not sure I want to give up my Facebook for an hour so that I can work my business. I mean, there's just things that we <laughs> set limits on ourselves. And so we're going to kind of get past that. The first one is I want you to count your wins. Do not get stuck on negatives and focus on the losses of the day. We were talking about postponements and cancellations. Today, while I'm preparing for training and I'm doing all the stuff that I do on a training day, it is my busiest day all month long. And um, I just got back last night and I was spending my morning with my little 11 month old. My kids were at school and I was catching up on all my kisses and hugs. Oh my word, it melts my heart. And he went down for a nap and I started preparing for different stuff. And did you know that I got a message from my hostess this night saying, hey, I can't do my jewelry show. Now I could focus on that today, right? But I'm not. I'm going to focus that I meet a new friend, Christy, in the back. We met just here tonight, and that's what I choose to focus on. It is a choice, ladies, what you choose to focus on. And sometimes it's because we've been around people that are negative, or maybe we just surround ourselves in negative and not even realize it. Um, I know people that they just stay on the news channel all day long. Did you know that the news reports so much negativity? Mm -hmm. Negativity. You just need to kind of limit that. I'm not saying don't ever watch the news, but just be careful of what you're putting in your body, okay? And you want to surround yourself with positive people, which is another reason to come to training, because we try to keep it really encouraging. But you have to decide what you're going to focus on, okay? So I would like to encourage you to start a gratitude journal, okay? Just get you a book, call it your gratitude journal, and you're going to capture all your wins at the end of each day. And so today, instead of putting that I had a jewelry show postponed, I would say, I got to meet Christy, my new friend, mm -hmm. okay? And so you're gonna put that down in your gratitude journal. And guess what? At the end of the day, what if you had a stinky day? What's that movie? Somebody's horrible, rotten, terrible, no good day. It's a kid movie. My kids have seen it, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just everything in the day went bad, you know? <laughs> Maybe you had that day. Did you know that your win does not have to be from today? It could be from yesterday, or last week, or last month, or last year. The thing is, is that you're capturing all the great things that are going good in your life, or have gone good. And it helps you to stay focused on the positive. Okay, number two, I want you to talk to yourself like a champion. John Gordon says, talk to yourself more than you listen to yourself. That is so important. Did you know that so much of our self-talk is negative? We point out all of our flaws. We're looking in the mirror as women and we think we should be skinnier or more tan or have a different hairdo or whatever. But we, our self-talk sometimes can be so negative. So instead of just listening to what you're saying, you need to be training yourself to rethink how you're looking at yourself, what you're saying to yourself about you, because you need to start to inserting you be the person don't wait on everyone to compliment you say to yourself i can do this you know i can i really can i may not look the way she looks but that's not necessary because god made me just who i am he gave me everything i need to be successful and that's one thing that i've learned to do that when i look at something and i feel like that it's not possible for me then i say that's okay because i've got god and with god all things are possible for me, okay? And so that's what I do. I just think, you know, maybe I don't have the confidence to step outside my box, but I'm going to pray about it. Did you know that I've trained at some regional rallies? And that is not great. But you know what I know about that? That if someone asks me that I believe in my heart that God intended for me to share something, and I know that if I'm in prayer about that, spend some time looking for direction from him that he's going to get me through it. I didn't pass out of vomit. <laughs> like I 
Got it.